Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pikmin! In the previous episode, we completed the Forest of Hope, and today we're going towards uncharted territory with the Distant Spring. And man, the music here is just swell. So first off I want to do, I want to come over here and I want to have a very hearty uh, group of blues. Because this is the distant spring and the, you know, it just, the name says there's going to be a lot of water, just expect a lot of blue Pikmin to be out while we're here. So what we want to do is we want to get a very hard, hearty group of blues, we want to get a very moderate number of yellows for something that we're probably going to do later, and I want to take my big band of blues. That sounds very nice, big bando blues. And I want to have them attack this jerk. This guy is a yellow Wallywog. Now this guy is like a normal Wallywog, except he's even more of a jerk, as you can see right there. So yellow Wallywogs, they, I don't know what the difference is between them specifically and normal Wallywogs. I couldn't find anything. Ugh, come on. Please don't die, thank you. Oh wow, he stuttered there. Good. On previous runs of this day, I've had this Wallywog kill way more of my guys than it just did. Oh, that guy's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, he's not? Oh, Jesus! So I have a feeling that yellow Wallywogs have a larger surface area to kill your Pikmin. And I also think the, it might be a little bit harder for Pikmin to weigh it down. Um. If there are other differences, you know, I couldn't find anything when I was trying to research this, but they may have more health. I don't know what else they have different, what else they have, um, why they're different from normal Wallywogs, despite not looking high and being yellow, a not creative color. But, uh, I don't know. My ramblings aside, I want to get a very large group of blues up here, and I really hope this is enough. I'm going to bring them around here, because this piece... I've tried recording this episode I don't know how many times, and this piece does not want to cooperate. So, I'm gonna have them... Oh, thank you! Thank you, God! I seriously thought... <laughs> oh, God, this could have been way worse, but... On previous runs of this, I've actually tried to get that piece, and for some reason, the Pikmin did not want to pick it up. I tried using the sea, the sea stick to swarm it, but they just would not go for it, and I have no idea why. But hey, we finally got it, and hopefully we don't won't have to do this day any more times, because I swear, it was like seven attempts trying to get it, but I messed up, and I'd be like, oh, well, that's just wasted time, and then I had to kill that same Wallywog. Retair, repair, <laughs> retair, retair pipe bolt. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but it actually, it's actually a repair robot. That does not look like a bolt at all, or Omar. I don't know what you're talking about. Alrighty, so are these all blues? Just want to make sure. Okay, good. They're all blues. I don't want to drown any yellows. So next up on our agenda, I'm gonna have my squad of blues. Actually. Are there any blues that are still trapped in there? Okay, it's just this guy over here, and then there's like another one futzing about somewhere else. But I'll be sure to get to him. We want to approach this area with caution because there are sheer wigs! Oh god, what are you doing over there? Did he just spawn in the water? Shouldn't that like kill them or something? I mean, they are winged. What the hell? What the hell is the sheer wig doing? He was like flying, he like jumped on the bridge and like, I don't know. Sheerwigs are weird, I never really quite got them. Alright, so, I want to have this guy, I want to have all my blues build that bridge. Because we have another ship part that the blues just can't carry through the water for some reason. And where is that other blue? Okay, it's just over here. It's better than I thought. So while they're building that bridge, I want to grab a like very small chunk. Three is a perfect number. Um, actually, maybe a little bit more, just to be absolutely safe. Um, 
and we're gonna be walking past these spotty bull bears. Spotty bull bears! They're kind of like bull orbs, except a little bit more scary. Hopefully they don't attack. Thank you. Um. Alright, I think there's just four bomb rocks here. Okay, good. So four is the perfect number. Alright. And I'm gonna have these guys try to blow up this wall here just for the future. Now is that enough? No, it is not. I'm gonna have to come back with more bombs. But hey, those blues finally got that... Actually, those blues got that bridge done in record time. Wow. Oh god, the game is having really bad slowdown. Wait, like, are, are you getting this? This is not my capture. The game is just slowing down this hard. So actually, oh man, what am I talking about? I want to get the yellows here for here too. Oh Jesus Christ, this is so bad. Oh, this game should not be chugging like this at all. So I want to get my, oh wow, power of the GameCube, my ass. Why does that yellow have to die? I'm just trying to cross a bridge. Oh, I'm gonna put my yellows on getting these bomb rocks, which are dangerously close to this bull bear. So, bull bears, they're kind of like normal bull, the spotty bull orbs, except spotty bull bears are, um, they have, I believe, 1.5 times the health of a normal bull orb. Guys, you're supposed to carry the bomb rocks. What are you doing? What are you doing, guys? You gotta carry the bomb rocks, you can't just sit around and do nothing. But I found my massage machine! Put this right down in the lower back area and let it go to work. I can't wait until I get this installed again, as my lower lumbar region has been paining me ever since the crash. Ah, sweet relief. Oh god, excuse me. Burp there. Obviously, this being just a massage machine, I think it's safe to say that this is not a required part at all. Seriously, what are these guys doing? They should be... Oh, uh, good, the Pikmin have enough common sense to walk around the giant beast. Yeah, it was weird, those yellow Pikmin were just standing around doing nothing. So, I think we have all the bomb rocks we want right now. Or all the bomb rocks that I could grab. Hey, buddy, what are you doing there? There's no time to be sleeping around, alright? We got a big day, we got a lot of stuff to do, we got a lot of walls break down, and we got a lot of water pools for you not to drown in. Oh! What did I just say? What did I just say, Yellow? My god! Learn to follow directions. I am so happy the Pikmin AI was improved in later ga games because... Jeez! Uh, I believe I have enough Pikmin to break this down. I think it's about nine bomb rocks for the black rock balls. But there we go! We got what- I believe this is our third optional part that we've gotten. I've been walking so much lately, I'm really looking forward to using this. Hey, it's not gonna help the ship fly, but... You know, at least Olmar's happy, right? Alright. Yellows... No, I don't want to grab a blue! Yeah, one thing that the, the sequels definitely improved upon this game is that you can switch between Pikmin while you're holding them, so you don't have to awkwardly run through your camp just to try to find who is holding what. Is that enough? I need one more. There we go! Awesome! So I think that's all of the bomb rock stuff I wanted to do now, so I'm gonna put my yellows back. And instead, I want to get out my blues! Because we're going to want as many blues as possible. We're not going to have a full... Actually, we are going to have a full 100. What am I talking about? I forgot we stocked up last episode. And I want them to be as flowered as possible. So come on, give me some sweet nectar, please. Thank you, God! Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Nah, I'm not that lucky. So there's one more ship part that is way out here in the open water, and I want to get put my boys on that. I keep saying my boys. These are all my little boys. 
I, I really doubt that Pikmin have genders, because they're just plants! They're just little plant people! They're a weird amalgamation between plant and animal, and you're a frog that nobody likes. And this is an egg! Which is something we really, really, really do not want to do. Trust me, we do not want to mess with that egg. Although I am going to mess with it in a bonus video, so look forward to that. Oh god! These things are mean! These things are really, really, really mean! Oh my god, I'm blanking on their names right now because I'm so freaking scared of them. They eat Pikmin really, really fast. But I got them. Wow. Oh yeah, they're called Water Dumples. So, believe it or not, these guys are a close relative to the Bulborb. And, oh god, he hit me directly. Now, please, please die before you kill any of my guys. Thank you! I got out of there lucky. So, as I was saying before, those Water Dumple guys, they are a close relative to the Bulborb. And, um... I think it's really cool that this game has a lot of really... Well, how am I trying to put this? This game actually has a very strong consideration for how this ecosystem would work. You know, scientifically. And, you know, the second game, it's like in particular, really goes into detail because every single enemy has its own genus, species, and subspecies, I believe. Which, as a biology major, that is a really cool touch, and I love when a game takes so much effort into trying to make its world seem alive, even scientifically. But enough of my random ramblings aside, I completely ignored killing that guy, but we're going to find more of them in this area, so eh, no harm done. I found my interstellar radio! Not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space that will brighten up my mo moments of boredom. The dolphin will... The dolphin, while comfortable, becomes quite a lonely place in the depths of night. Aww. It's alright, Olimar, you got your freaky little plant slaves. Right? Okay, so hopefully these guys don't run into anything bad. I'm actually going to ignore the hell out of them, just so the game can't really keep up with them. EXPLOITATION! Alright, and I believe they're fast enough to avoid all the yellow wallywogs if they try to crush them. He's trying to crush them right now, isn't he? Yep. Yep. So while they're working on that, I think I want to swap out my blues for reds. I want to have as much firepower as possible. No pun intended. To take out these bull bears over here. Because I am going to have to carry stuff through there later on, and I do not want to have to deal with them. Also, we have another type of that enemy that I just killed back there. So I think I might focus on that as well. Mm, who to kill first? Yeah, I'm going to kill you. This gigantic flowing puff sack is actually another variation of... What? Oh, they're carrying the piece through. I can't... I gotta distract him. I gotta distract him. Alright. This guy is actually a different variety of blowhog, like the fiery blowhogs in the forest navel. Wow, way to interrupt me, ship. I know I'm being super cool by getting all these pieces in one day, but don't interrupt me, man. I'm trying to do my part. I might seem a little bit more crazy than usual because I am very hyped up on sugar. I'm recording this on Easter night. And if I seem a little bit more loopy, yeah, the sugar highs get kind of getting to me. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining, though, that I have no option but to continue my search rather than wait for a rescue party. Having to collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression that not all parts are needed to fly the ship. So even though that's just a radio, Olmar somehow needs that to be able to fly the ship out of here. And like, even then, he's like, oh yeah, some parts may not be completely required, which would make you assume, like, oh yeah, the radio's not required, right? No, it totally is. Wow, I didn't even say his name, I just said he was a blowhog. That enemy is a... Oh god, I was gonna say Puffy Blowhog. 
Actually, yeah, he's, he's a Puffy Blowhog. What am I talking about? Uh, Puffy blow Blowhog, all he does is blow away your Pikmin and deflower them and scatter them around. He doesn't actually kill them, at least not directly. And I'm missing a Pikmin. I am missing a Pikmin. He's all the way out there! Uh, I'll probably get him later. Alright, let's kill this ball bear. Is he going to be able to kill me? Ooh, that was very well done. That was very well done, if I do say so myself. Now can I have a two for two? Two for two, two for two, two for two! Ooh, yeah! I am on a roll. Ah, uh, speaking of rolls. I don't want this Wallywog to roll all over my little picks. So, for now, I think I'm going to kill this Wallywog, unroll these bridges a little bit, and then I'll be done my day. Oh, and save that Pikmin. Because I don't like... Mm, yeah, I threw too many. Come on, Roger, you just want to keep the rhythm. You want to keep that rhythm going. And this Wallywog does not feel like taking damage today. He's not losing... Do the yellow Wallywogs have more health? They might. I have no idea, like, besides aesthetics, I don't know how these Wallywogs differ from the normal ones. Alright, good, he stuttered a little bit, is that enough? No, not quite, please, yeah, you're not going to be bo bothering me tomorrow. So I think I'm going to try to take this ship piece out tomorrow, um, yeah, that's about good. Alright, so we have 98 of us, and I need to go save that other Pikmin. I'll drop you guys off at the base. So I don't think we could do any more work today. I could have you try to build that bridge, but then you're not- you're barely gonna get far at all. So it's like, why bother? Yeah, we only have 10 seconds left. So please, where are you, blue Pikmin? I wanna save you! I want to save you from whatever the hell is lurking in this egg, though it's not going to come attack you unless you go and smack the egg around, which I know you're stupid, but I know I don't think you're that stupid. So overall, this is a this has been a very successful day. A very successful day in our new I almost said Wistful Wild, but no, in our distant spring. Go to bed, little guy. You've done well. Ten days since impact. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to recover virtually all of my missing ship parts. But, not quite all of them. Unfortunately, there still seems to be some pieces that remain unaccounted for. Exactly one to be precise, meaning I cannot count. I must find seven more parts to further increase my dolphin's range. So, despite a few mishaps, we completed everything we wanted to do today. And actually a little bit more too, because I cleared out some enemies for tomorrow. So, next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we're going to be returning to the Distant Spring to hopefully get a lot more parts in the area. My name is Sick, and I'll see you guys then. Thank you all for watching Let's Play Pikmin.